Hello everybody, my name is Brody, Ty, and today I'm just going, uh, I'm doing a test run with my uh, HG PBR rocket and uh, my blue snowball ice yeti, and yes, I'm just going to do a little gameplay. I'm going to be showing you guys uh, my Minecraft cruise ship. I finished it today at, I can't remember, I wrote it down on my computer. On my laptop at like 520, 522. Uh, you know, that was, yeah, I finished it yesterday, so I'm pretty proud of it. And yeah, so let's show it. So I've been working on this for a while. You can see it's, it's loading in. And yeah, I was not thinking I was going to record today, so. Um, let's just turn those off. So. Alright, we're just gonna enable. Uh, we're just gonna put on a night vision so we can see better. So, this is my other cruise ships. We got two of them. But this is the one we're looking at. This is a uh, Virtuoso. Uh, this is the VS Crystal. It is by Virtuoso Cruise Line, which is my uh, custom cruise line. It's not real. I made it up. So this is just the information right here on the the anchor. So there's 13 decks. The capacity is 2,412 guests. It is uh, the VS Crystal by Virtuoso Cruise Line. Uh, the beam is 29 blocks. If you don't know what beam is, that's the width. Uh, the length is 300 blocks. And yeah, so uh, I have some pretty good hall art i think this looks cool so i'm just gonna go and overview uh this ship had not any ex like um inspiration got some inspiration from electro creeper he's a, another great youtuber uh you should check him out uh with the just the detail the quartz he has adds a lot of detail to his ships so yeah yeah so this is a shaft propelled ship. I didn't want to make an azipods because they just they're just annoying sometimes. They get annoying. So yep, we still have the shafts, with the stern thrusters, and the, yeah. And yeah, this is a ducktail. Yeah, I felt like adding a ducktail because they're cool looking, even though they're useless. Well, they're not useless, but alright. So let's go inside. Let me. Uh, this is gonna take a while. Uh -huh. So we'll just turn night vision off. So let's go in here. All right. So let's tour the ship. So this is uh, the gangway. So this is where you enter the ship. You swipe your key card. You put your uh, valuables in here, and it scans them. And then you go through the metal detector. Pretty simple. And then you grab your stuff. Right here, this is a storage for like cold storage for when you're on board. So you, they store food and some other stuff. This is a little spot where they can just sell stuff and you can buy like cups, heads and stuff. Just normal. Uh, some seating area here. <laughs> Nothing too special. Uh, and then here's the elevator lobbies. Uh, I'm not, we're not going to go up yet because I want to show you the cool areas. So here is the engine room. This is where you enter the engine room, but I'm not going to show off that. Uh, this is the crew hallways. They're pretty cramped, but that's how normal ones are. So this is the basic crew room. So here you have a bathroom. You have some storage here. Bunk beds, more storage, storage, bunk beds, a light that turns on and off, and a porthole. And yeah. So, yeah. And I... Okay, never mind. Um, if we can go down this hallway right here, this is the galley. Um, this is where all the crew eat. So this is the kitchen. We have fridge. We have stove tops, ovens. So come up here. You grab your food. You sit down. You eat. Pretty simple. Uh, we go further down. We will see the showers. So this is the crew uh, lockers. So this is the crew's lockers. They store their stuff, and these are the showers. So. 
Uh, due to building constraints, uh, I only could have one shower, so like the woman and men will have to share. I know that's not normally what you'd have, but I had to do that because I had no room. So, uh, right here, this is the second gangway. Uh, you walk in, you swipe your key card, you go through the metal detector, you put your uh, stuff in here and it scans it, you have it. Pretty simple. More seating. And yeah, this goes all the way down. We'll show off that in a second. Uh, right here is the medical bay. So you come down here, you say I have a pencil stuck in my ear. They tell you to sit here for five minutes, you wait here for like 20 hours, and then they're like, okay, we'll take you. And then, you know, stuff happens in there. But yeah. <laughs> And if we continue down the crew always, this is the crew gangway, so this is where the crew board, you have a bench, so yeah, these are all crew rooms, if you're wondering what those are. If you go all the way down, we'll sh I'll show you the mooring stations. So yeah, these are the mooring, uh, aft mooring stations, so right here, you have the web, so if you were to like, dock the ship in real life, this is where you dock it, in the back part of so. Yeah, let's go forward. We'll go all the way down because. Oh, oops. Okay. Um. So yeah, let's go up. So we'll go up this. So right here, these are still hallways. And yeah, these are staterooms for the guests here. So they're pretty nice all the way down. All right. I, I think they're really nice hallways, They're black and white. So right here we show off the crew room, or sorry, the state room. We have a light, toilet, bed, decent sized window, TV, a uh, flower, and some storage. And yeah, pretty simple. Indoor cabin. Uh, well, that's, that's not showed up. And that one was like an extra block bigger, so that one's different than all the other ones. But this is what they normally look like. So we have a light. Toilet, bed, TV, more storage, flower. Yeah. So, I think that's everything on this. Uh, I think if we go all the way to the back. Uh, yes, right here. So, um, here is, this is the library. So, you go here, read a book. You just sit here. It's very nice. Um, right here, this is the comedy club. And you can sit here. Watch some comedy while you wait for like the show to open because this is the main theater. So some more seating if you're to wait. So yeah, this is the Aura Lounge and this is the main theater. I know normally you have the main theater in the front of the ship, but I decided to put it back here. Kind of stole it from uh, Quantum in the Seas with their uh, 270 club. So right here, this would change like as an LED screen for like whatever your purposes would be for whatever shows you're doing. So yeah, this is the main theater. And there's some really cool seating, so we've got some chairs here, tables, uh, some simple chairs, uh, some greenery, and an uplifted seat up here, some nice couches, and then this is the bar, so this bar looks pretty cool. And yeah, so if we go up to the next floor, we will see, if we go over here, um, this is just the normal boring seating for the theater so yeah and then there's a bar so if we go back down and only the show showing any of this this is the main entertainment we'll start in the front this is the front and we'll work ourselves back so let's go back to the front right here and we'll go up and yeah so here this is the main shops um and yeah so we just have some shops you have starbucks here it's, you know every Everybody needs a Starbucks. Uh, and then here, this is the cookie parlor. So they make homemade cookies every day here. And you buy cookies. And then you can have ice cream too. So they have homemade ice cream too. So, yeah. And then this is the Firestone Pizzeria. Um, this is a brick oven. They make their pizza here. And yeah, so it's nice. And then here, this is the main, uh, this is the Caribbean gift shop. Main gift shop. You know, just register. You can buy, like, your cruise ship models and stuff like that and then this is the seven sea jewelry shop and yeah so you just have uh, jewelry that you can buy that's like super overpriced that you can get like half the price like anywhere else and then we just have metal detectors so you don't steal any of the jewelry 
yeah, so if you go, this is the main atrium. It is, I think, very nice. It's two stories. You have a giant, like, glass bulb spectrum thingy. Main staircases. And yeah, so this is a, uh, you'll see a bunch of these on our ship. This is a self-serving, uh, if I can gather my thoughts, self-serving, uh, bar. So, you can, there's like little tablets here, you grab a tablet, you can make your own drink, and it makes it for you. So, it's pretty cool. But if you don't want to make your own drink, you can just go here to the regular bar. So, yeah, and you got a nice chandelier. And then here, this is guest service, so you have just some, uh, lines. And, yeah, you just got your Mac computers, even though I don't like Apple. But, I thought just detail would be nice. I'm stuck here. Okay, whatever. So you just have your little stations, and I base this off uh, Royal Caribbean, uh, Anthem of the Seas. They kind of have like these little spots where you just have several desks, and yeah. Uh, right here is the women's restroom, the men's restroom over there. But we'll go in the women's restroom because you know people don't get that much of opportunity. Trash can, sinks with like mirrors, and a toilet, another toilet, and yeah. So, yeah, um, over here, this is short excursion, so if you're planning for future cruise bookings, that's where you do it, and if you go up stairs, this is, um, just some basic little seatings, and this goes, uh, an outlook to the shops, so, yeah, but we'll show off the rest of this, uh, this is another bar, and this is the little cafe where you can just order food and you can sit here which is nice and a little secret right here this is pretty cool I think this is a secret door so you can actually go through it and yeah so there's just a chest of a bunch of like valuables and TNT because you know TNT is always useful <laughs> alright um next right here this is a crew area this is where we just have administration offices or People that need one would work. So yeah, they're all they're all there it is. Pretty simple. Oh, I didn't fill this one out. Whoops. That's I think they're all filled out though. Except for that one. So yeah, you just have like the oh, that's a boring one. Uh, I'll we'll show off this one. So file cabinets, computers, chairs. And this is where the secret place is to the painting. And then right here, this is an escape to the bow, which is for the crew. Lounge chairs, this is where they can go to avoid pesky passengers. It's always bugging them, relax in their hot tubs. And then this is an anchor. So yeah. So you have a pretty nice view. And yeah. So if we go up, take this up here. Um, I left this pretty empty because I didn't, like, I've tried a bunch of stuff, it just didn't work, but this is just, like, a main area that will just filter all of, oh yeah, filter, just a main area where people will just walk through because it'll be crew busy, so I just left that empty. And then this is, a uh, uh, staterooms, balcony cabins. Oh yes, and I did, uh, label the staterooms and classes, but since this is the crystal, I named them based on gems, so like the highest class would be uh, like the rarity, the most rarest gems. So first class, which is like the suites up top, is the diamond class. Uh, second class, as you say, would be the sapphire class, which is just the bigger balconies. And then the normal balconies will be, so right here is the quartz class, and then the bottom state rooms, like the ocean views, those are the pearl classes, which are the least nicest ones. So if we go up here, we have a little bar just for the crew to another spot for them to relax and eat. And yeah. So let's go back down. All the way down. And yeah. So let's go out here back to the atrium and we'll show off the entertainment. Which is like the best part. So yeah, we'll go back down. So we go down here this goes to the elevator lobbies and then you can come out here with the main entertainment this is the first entertainment deck this is the door that goes out to the lifeboats which is nice and I got double doors you know, because this is a piano they play piano uh, nothing too special just 
relaxing. You can walk on this promenade deck. Uh, this is the Fruit Juice Pub. If um, every Virtuoso Cruise Line will have this pub, it'll be like the main bar. So yeah. So it's very colorful because it's the Fruit Juice Pub. And yeah, so you have some seating. You have a bar over there. Another escape out to the lifeboats. Nice. And then you have like a sign on it. They'll just play live music, and you have a really cool Ender Portal dance floor, or I guess you'd say it's really cool to look at. But yeah, it sometimes gives me a headache. And if you come out here to the main promenade deck, this is the Galaxy Casino. Uh, I based this off, like, just looks like a galaxy up here, which is pretty cool. Um, you just have your just normal slot machines. Oh, I forgot that. A red torch is up. Alright, whatever. So you just have your uh, slot machines lined up. Another uh, self serving bar. A giant glass ball that goes up to the, the second deck of entertainment, which is pretty cool. Your uh, poker tables. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is where like you roll dice and stuff. Roulette. Another roulette. Poker table. Pretty simple. And then this is a bar because you know you need the bar to get them drunk to spend more money. This, that's how it works, really. Another promenade deck. Which is, uh, this is the other elevator lobby. Nothing too crazy. Uh, if you go over here, this is the Millennium Falcon Arcade. So you just have a coin machine. We can just get coins. Uh, a crane. Uh, the shooter game. You have your like guns and you can shoot stuff. Uh, pinball machine. Uh, this punching bag game, you have to play. It's amazing. I love it. Another crane, a box, I guess. Uh, a dance dance revolution. So, yeah, you can play dance dance revolution. And another coin machine. So, yeah. That's pretty simple. And I kept the galaxy design on the roof because the Millen Falcon is a Star Wars, from Star Wars. So, yeah, and there's a lot of space in that. Um, this is, I don't know if I'm going to make this the teenager club or just a nightclub. But it is, I think I might make it just a teenager's club. Uh, but yeah, so you have a dance floor, uh, a bar. If it's a teenager club, they'll just have sodas and stuff. But yeah, you have some pretty cool seating. And then over here, you have a giant couch with a TV, an Xbox, and a giant stereo system. Oh, no, not an Xbox, PlayStation, sorry. So you can play PlayStation. Uh, there's Nintendo Switch, which is what I'm using to play this on... And you know, I realize my video quality looks terrible compared to what I'm doing right now. Um, if we go back to the elevator lobby, we'll go to the second deck of entertainment. And yeah, so yeah, you might be wondering what this is. This is uh, like a touch screen. You can find out like what to do, what's open, like what shows are on. And yeah, so uh, right here, this is the photo gallery. So. You know, every cruise ship does this, or cruise line does this. They take embarrassing photos of you, and they post them up here for everyone to look at. So, yeah. Uh, this is the sushi bar. So, they have some sushi. So, you know, everyone loves raw fish. And, oh, why is this? That's what I've got. Um, over here, this is uh, Ready Player One. Uh, no, it's not based off the movie. It's uh, a VR spot. So, right here, you have... The computers you can put on the VR headset the Samsung oculus VR headsets and you can do virtual reality and then this is the nice spot this is the oculus rift VR headset where you can walk around you have the controls and you can do a bunch of stuff and there's the computer where everything a powerful computer so yeah that's it's pretty cool and then here this is the oceanic dining room and yeah so this is the main atrium area where you just stairs to go to the second floor Right here, this is where they just tell you where to where they seat you, and yeah, it's nothing. This goes down to uh, to the kitchen, but we're not gonna show that off. And yeah, so this is uh, just the main dining room on the ship. Chandelier here. This is the main seating. This is like the fancy spot in the middle. And yeah, it, and cool about it, it's complimentary outside here, so it's pretty cool. And then if we if we uh, go up, it's just more dining room seating, but there's more outside areas. And you got the big window. Oh yeah. So I forgot to double deck this. So I 
added the windows as if I didn't double deck it, but I'm not going to change it because if I change it, I have to change all those quartz slabs and I just, no, I'm not doing that. So yeah, more outside area and this is the fancy big table for, you know, that those party animals, just the big groups. And yeah, so if we go back down, we'll show you off the rest, we'll show the rest of the entertainment. So yeah. So this is the second deck of entertainment. Uh, you have another escape to the lifeboat tenor stations. So if it's to sink, you have the lifeboats there, so you're not sure. Um, over here, I think this is where the, yeah, the kids club right here. So this is the kids club, it's very cramped, but this is where you sign in your kid and you leave and go drunk, get drunk. So yeah, that's basically what this is used for. You have some storage for like diapers and stuff. You know, just a play area. No. Nothing too fancy. I didn't have a lot of room, so I decided, you know, I'll put the kids club here because no one cares about the kids club. Stupid kids. Just kidding. Um, here, these are the conference centers. So, you just, uh, people, businesses, if businesses were on these crews, they would rent these spaces and they'll have conferences. You know, no, nothing crazy about this. Helpful for the businesses. And this is the kitchen for the seaside grill so this is the spe one of the specialty restaurants this is a seaside grill they specialize in steak so yeah this is basically like a steakhouse you go over here you can look at your food being made and you can smell it and that's the best part of the steakhouse and this is uh from the casino giant light bulb thing so yeah and then you have a giant window of the sea supposedly to the sea but no minecraft limitations um yeah so if we go over here this just goes out to a walkway to with the shops and overlook on the shops so that's basically everything of that and yeah so let's go up to the next deck so this deck is staterooms balcony staterooms so yeah pretty nice oh, oops, okay. so. oops. That's not supposed to happen. Um, yeah, so these are just normal state rooms, and I'll show you off. One. I'll show you one. So right here, um, this is a state room, standard state room. You have a, a bed. Oh, I forgot that that was a creeper that scared me. <laughs> uh, light, uh, TV storage, flower, and then this is just the balcony. So this is the part of the quartz glass. So. Yeah, I'm gonna show you an indoor room. Uh, this is a bigger one because I had an extra block of space, so I decided to make this one was bigger. You have a, you actually have a desk, so that's the only thing different from the normal size indoor cabins is just there isn't this chair. So you got the TV, storage, bed, lamp. Yeah, And then right here, yeah, it's just this, what a normal one looks like. And then if you go over there, those doors go out to what I showed you earlier. Which is uh, it's just the main crew area, and then is there anything back here that I need to show? No, it's not. Let's go back. <laughs> um, so yeah, if we go back up next, uh, this is the same thing. Standard statement, balcony cabins, nothing crazy. Same thing here too. Uh, quartz class, and this is where we get to crazy. So yeah, this is the sapphire class. So this is a nicer class. You have. Toilet, a TV, a lamp, another lamp, a bed, and then you have this giant balcony, which is nice. So this is one of the smaller ones because I had to fit in the the um, elevator lobbies. But if you go over here, we have the bigger ones over here. This is the normal size. Well, this isn't the normal size one, but you have a mirror, storage, toilet, two beds, lamps, TV, and a couch. And this is the giant room. But then if we get to the normal size ones of the sapphire class. Yeah, these are the normal sapphire class rooms. So it starts off tight because it's it's a, it's a good design for architecture design. It starts up tight and it opens up to make it feel more spacious. So you have a, a storage closet. I don't know what this weird design. Uh, two beds. These. Uh, bathroom. A full bathroom actually. I could actually fit a full bathroom. So you have a sink. Toilet, shower, 
um, TV up here, uh, mirror, a bunch of storage, and the giant balcony, with normal, normal balcony. Uh, and yeah, that is everything. The, these are all the same, so... And then if you go over here, this is a nice... This is for Sapphire classes only. You can go out here to a nice view over the balcony, and you can have some pretty nice views of, you know, supposedly right now, the prairie that we're on. And these are like these things you put a coin in, and then you can, like, see farther out. You know, just normal stuff. You have some seating. And yeah, so... That's all of the sapphire class and we have another entertainment deck which is great so i didn't know what to put here so i decided you know, just make some nice greenery stuff so you have these, these fountains and then you have the two restaurants so this is a breakfast restaurant this is the sunrise dining room so these are the nice flowers because the sunrise is nice and warm because it's going to start off a nice warm day and have the bathroom Go to the bathroom and yeah so you have the kitchen here and you just have some nice seating of outside of well supposedly would be the ocean and then you have the bar so this is just the sunrise dining room which is free but that is for breakfast only and then this is the sunset dining room and this is a darker theme because it's gonna start it's yeah it's just sunset to night and i don't know why there's Okay, so, yeah, there's supposedly mushrooms everywhere now. And, yeah, there's just not as nice stuff. Like, this is all colorful and this is all dull. Because it's the sunset, which starts is the beginning of night. So, you have the bathroom. And this is basically the ex exact same of the sunrise. But it is just a different design. Uh, so, you have the bar and your kitchen here. And this is uh, for dinner and lunch. Or, no. Yeah, this is dinner and lunch. That's breakfast and lunch, too. So, And then this is the Café Parisien. So, if we go on this side. Uh, I didn't know what to put here. I've tried a bunch of things. So I just decided to leave it open for a nice walkway. And it's supposed to represent uh, Paris. Uh, based it off of Titanic's Café Parisien. I don't know if I'm butchering the name. Or not. So, yeah. Uh, and then this is the actual cafe Parisian part. So you just have like your fountain, your plates, your cups, and then they just have croissants here. Some more croissants, and then there's a fire. Completely. Um, stove tops. Uh, yeah, basic stuff. And yeah, so right over here, I don't. I tried something here. This is supposed to represent like a walk, a walking road in like uh, Paris, and then these are all your like venues and stuff. That's what it was supposed to represent. It didn't turn out well, but. Decided to leave it because no, I didn't really care. Um, this is the Oasis Plaza. So this is the adults only retreat. So you have your hot tubs, your uh, bar maker, and then you have just your normal ball and then towels. And you know, just the main. I don't know if I'm gonna make this up. Uh, uh, yeah, this is a really cool view. So yeah, didn't totally didn't take a screenshot. Uh, yeah. So this I I think this looks really nice i don't know if i'm gonna make this adults only but this it, i don't think i am so it so yeah just for everyone this goes up to the second spot just to look out which is very nice in my opinion and yeah so this goes out to the main buffet so you have your seatings here and you can come in here the lines and you can grab your food grab more food uh, this is the kitchen area where they make the food and they bring it out so yeah, nothing too special here. Just basic seating and then this just giant light. So yeah, this is the main pool. So you have some seatings along here, uh, lounge chairs, and then you have your main pool here with a waterfall or waterfall here. So you have your main pool with a bridge going over, and then the cool part, the best part about this is you can swim up to these rock seatings, and then you can be served at the bars, which I think is pretty cool. My dad said that would be a good idea so I decided to add it and then you just have your normal seating here and just a nice display water fountain thing with jiggy and yeah so I have two TVs on the side I couldn't fit them there or there so I did it on both sides because if this was the only TV and someone was sitting here they couldn't be able to watch it and that person would be screwed <coughs> anthem of the seas <clears throat> I'm sorry but yeah anthem of the seas only had one side 
So I, you're basically screwed if you're on the one side. And yeah, go up here. You just have more seatings. This goes out. You know, you can go here. You can jump off because you know that's totally cool. Um, yeah. So we'll show off that back area later, but you know, let's show off this. Um, I'm gonna go on this side. Uh, oh, what is this? I can't remember. Oh yeah. So this is a seating area for the adults-only hot tub. So you got a hot tub that outlooks, and then you can go over. So, pretty nice. On the side, you just have your towers. Nothing too crazy there. So you just have a nice hot tub there. So this is, yeah, and then you have the same thing over there. So, and this is just the desk area. And you might wonder why these ceilings are so low. This is because I had the nice design in the sapphire class. Oh no, I haven't showed the, sorry, the diamond class. I haven't showed that area yet. I will show off that area though. But yeah, this is because of the diamond class. And yeah, so the... <laughs> I don't know why I did this, but you have glass and you can stock the people taking showers. <sighs> yeah, I don't know why it's super weird. But right here, this is, as you know, the lockers. This is the woman's side. Uh, just right here, you have the towel areas, and this is where you can take showers. And it is the exact same thing on the other side, but it is for men. It's not men yeah so if you s and then here is the gym so yeah this is one of your like crazy machine things i didn't know what to do uh this is a like water spot this is a weight rack and these are benches yeah this was a crazy design from thank you uh i don't remember his name but i'll leave his name in the description once i find out um but yeah so you have your bed i don't know they added this you can bounce on the bed kind of like a slime block but yeah there's a bunch of pistons used and you just have your weight racks and then you just have your uh, treadmills which is nice and then this is just your aerobic spot where you can just do yoga 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 yoga, yoga. yoga. Sorry. and yeah you just have your and then you just have more water fountains here and yeah so let's go up so up here, this is the special diamond class, but you know, we're gonna show off that later, so. Yeah, so this is the woman's side, the men's side over here, we're going the woman's side, because we know we can. Uh, this is where you just line up here for the spa, and you just have your seating area, and then this is the main spa, this is just the spa area. Here is the steam room, so you go in here, you get steamed, because you know, that sounds right. And then this, oh no, that is the, that is not the steam room, this is the sauna. Yeah, you can just boil in there. And then this is the steamer where you get steamed. So, <laughs> yeah. And then if we go over here, I know it's a little cramped. Uh, these are the main massage areas. You know, you get here, pay people to touch you. And yeah, so that's the men's side. So you can, like, stalk your boyfriend over there. Or your husband. And yeah, so that's the spot. And let's show off the diamond class. Yes, this, this class is amazing, I personally think. So, yeah. You know, we can go in right there. We'll go in this one. This, this one's a little bit bigger up top. So we'll go in that one. That one's closed. So, yeah, so right here, uh, storage area. I know, small bathroom. I had to, get whatever. Uh, big bed to bounce on. A couch with a table, and you can look out in the prairie, and then you can look at the hot tub. So you can stop. And there's the other rooms there. And this is the TV, mirror, light, and the best part about the diamond class is it has your own deck up top, which is amazing. So you have your chair here, just your seating, and that's what the normal one looks like over there. And what's nice about this, you only you have your own pool area for the diamond class members. So you got your hot tubs, your little bar maker, machini, and then just a lap pool. So yeah, but if we go over here, this is just for everyone. So yeah, you can go up here, and you just have your lounge chairs, this is windbreakers, so you don't, like, get destroyed by the wind. Yeah, so it is pretty windy up here sometimes, not sometimes, all the time, while the ship's in motion. And yeah, that is everything up here, let's go to the back. Okay, if we go to the bridge, and then we go up, we can show off the highlight of Virtuoso Cruise Line. So right here, this is the crystal clear lounge. This lounge is amazing, I think. 
uh, there's a bunch of seating designs, and I got I got these seating this seating this seating design, and this one with some just different block changes on my part from Green or Grain. I don't know how you say your name. He's a YouTuber. Sorry if I butchered your name. Green, Green, Green. It's spelled G R I A N, and I got this these like designs from him. So thank you for that. So yeah, you have your seating here, main seating. Uh, big couch, uh, and then this is just an, a complimentary outside area. So you have a giant couch, your bar maker, a giant umbrella design. Yeah, it's pretty tight here, but whatever. And yeah, so just more seating here, another seating area, just glass walls because you know all this is glass, that makes sense. And then you have just your giant bar, and they can cook food here too. Nothing crazy food, but they can cook food at least some stuff. And yeah, that concludes everything I think. Or we need to show off the bridge. Bridge is over here, and I did not put something. Oh, this is gonna suck. Uh, I don't know where. There we go. So this is the bridge. So you have a bunch of seating here, and yeah. So this is a compass clock. Um. So you have just controls here. Uh, this is the control for the thruster engine. You can look down and look at the thruster. Nice seating or view from here, and there's more stuff over there. And this is a giant panel, so it's real thick. The flatbridge tries to drop a nice bridge. You can't even see the area, so you can just grab your blind. And then here is the bathroom. wraps up the virtuous with cruise on. Thank you for watching. Um I had absolutely fun building this ship. It was amazing. I love this ship. And it's I think it turned out great. Yeah, so thank you for watching. This is a good try.